When I was a little girl, I didn't get uh, the opportunity to go to school. So I decided uh, when I older, I can help the children who are disadvantaged, who are not getting education. But when I came to study in the capital in Kathmandu, so I met a woman, uh, her name is Parijat, she is a famous writer. So um, through her, I got a chance to go in prison. And then I see that a lot of children, they are in behind the bar. Uh, and uh, they are living in very dirty prison and very congested and they uh, I see their you know the condition was very bad and they, they are not getting good food and like that because of the convicted parents they forced to live inside the prison and that became me and they, that uh, when I saw that I uh, was very sad and uh, I became a very emotional and it's hard waking for me the social stigma is highly attached to it and the, this issue was marginalized by government and society and it's very painful and people do not want to talk about it and I always try to raise this issue, boys uh, in society and talk with the different orphanages also. These children uh, are just like orphanages. So please, we need to take care. That way I decided and I make my dream. So one day I can fight for their dignity and their basic needs. So you know, that, that is the main uh, challenge. And uh, if politicians, they should uh, recognize the problem of the grassroots level, the vulnerable people, yeah? That is very important uh, part. We don't call civil war, we call armed conflict, yeah? So um, uh, it was a political conflict, you know, because of fighting different parties, they fight about their own, you know, they want to put their own philosophy and like that, you know. So it affects a lot. And the poor people are affected a lot and then the people are who involved in the, you know, Maui's uh, revelation and they don't have a job now. So crime also increased that way because there are no stability there. So and then uh, government are still they fighting about their own opinion. So there is a new constitution. And we are very difficult for us to pushing the like uh, the people who are deprived, who are minority group, to bring this boys. I create a school, and I'm protecting the kids from the pregnancy. The women who are in uh, in prison, they are pregnant, delivery women. I protect those kids, providing the good quality food, milk, nutrition food because they don't get enough. They get only 45 rupees, and they have to divide with the children. So, and many children they are, you know, when the women are go to the prison, they are out and they can be a trafficking, kidnapping. So, I, I rescue those kids and why we are creating home. And uh, we are creating family environment and we are doing uh, more focusing all kind of life skill. How to take care of themselves, how to cook food. So now, you know, in Nepal is more tourism, tour guide. Outdoor training, we send the boys, cooking training, handicraft training, pottery, wood carving, all this skill we will provide in the same time. And same time in house, I already mentioned that, that they live together and respect each other like a sister and brother. Yeah? You know, people think civilization is a nice, wearing nice clothes and having a good house. But we are talking, teaching our children civilization to respect each other, to be a kind. You know, my children. They are, a lot of children are traumatized, they see the violence, yeah, a uh, lot of trauma, psychological problem. But it's a, pro, uh, you know, way of I create the environment, it's the most important is environment, loving environment. We are, don't push the children so much discipline, so much, you know, we try to understand their, why they are, you know, and we try to give them positive things, you know, not negative things. I like to teach gender equality through the little children. So keeping the boys and girls little, they respect each other, they learn together, and they, you know, they love each other, then we can walk together. So that's my dream and that's my vision. Every shelter, boys and girls, they involve together. Everybody has a tax. They have to, it's not a different boys work and not a different girls work. They have to work together. Household, help the children, help the younger one, to respect the older one and respect each other. That we are teaching them to create own opportunity, not to depend with the politics, not to depend with the government. They are the government, they are the change maker. We are creating the children as a change maker.